The Orient Express, the legendary Pullman train, is a popular choice for special occasions and those looking for an unusual treat. But the golden age of glamour collided with rock and roll as London band The Crack hosted the live set in the Xena carriage of the iconic train this afternoon. I was having to be at Victoria Station, I spotted this and I was like, wow, I really want to go on that. And then two weeks later we're on it. Yeah. For free. Drinking <laughs> <laughs> <We can> champagne. <laughs> It's all part of a promotional film the band are producing, documenting 24 hours of their lives, inspired by the Beatles film, A Hard Day's Night. Unusual venues are nothing new for the indie popsters. They've played gigs in clothes shops, in Brick Lane, and also the gorilla enclosure of London Zoo. This is the most glamorous of their gigs, although it's not without its problems. Wow! You can't hear much, can no, you? No. The chugging of the tray. To be honest, I, I think it's more like the fact the novelty no of playing more than the, because like well, people, I don't think people standing through the other carriage could hear it you've got yeah, the yeah. noise of the train coming past this 1920s antique luxury train is used to having celebrities on board Kylie, status quo, Phil Collins and Leslie Garrett have all been passengers but this is the first time that a band have been given permission to perform live this group, the young group, they're, 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 their song is going to be related to the Beatles, A Hard Day's Night, which they travelled on the train, the Beatles on that. So when they approached us, we were delighted to, to say, yes, come on board. I'll give me a Two half an hour sets and a posh lunch washed down with champagne was all in a day's work. The only drama happened the night before when their female drummer, ex-Baby Shambles member Gemma Clark, was rushed to hospital with appendicitis and her musician boyfriend Snell had to take her place. Today's passengers were enjoying themselves too much to notice. Brendry Manners, BBC London News.